Welcome to uh, HoloLens vs. Fog. It's also Fog vs. Our Lungs this week. <coughs> Tune into the end of the video to see if we have lung cancer. What's up guys? Long time no see. Sorry we haven't been putting out a lot of content lately. Uh, we've been getting the, the new office ready for you guys, making a lot of new cool content there. Um, and you're going to see we're actually not in the office right now. It's because we've come back to the old place because we don't want to set off the fire alarm at our new office because we're going to be doing uh, Fog versus HoloLens. And we're really excited. This is a great breaking reality. We've been wanting to do it for a long time. It's a good way to kick off the new vibe with the channel and everything, so I guess let's get right into it. All right, as you guys can see, the room is very foggy. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what kind of effect this has on the hollow lens, if any, who knows. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna try to open up the menu. Menu opened up fine. Try to map your surroundings. It already looks like it's struggling quite a bit. Okay, there we go. We got it. Okay, it's not even. There we go. Okay, it wasn't even picking up my hand signals. One thing that I will note is that the uh, uh, it doesn't look foggy through the lens. When I take off the HoloLens, it looks much more foggy than it appears it is. It actually almost like negates the effect of the fog, which is cool. Okay, there you go. We're mapping around. Okay, so it's got the mapping. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got the map of the room. We're going to stand in the thick of it. And I think that's Austin right there. I don't think that's the fog. So what I notice is... It doesn't do hand signals, but if I come over and I'm probably going to step out of the fog a little bit. Still nothing. <laughs> it's, it is... There we go. Okay, now it's picking up the fog. Did you see that mess right there that was right there? Yep, there we go. You can see it's actually pick... The HoloLens is picking up the fog. There you go. It's got the ground. It's going pretty good. Okay. Okay, we got our hand signals back. So it seems as if when I'm in the extreme fog, so if I come and I stand right here in the thick of it, good, good, nothing. So right about here where it's the thickest, it can't even begin to see. I would like to try to see if I can use the, uh, the spatial mapping all right, yeah, you can see in the air right here, it's kind of thinking that there's holograms, it's not. Let's go ahead, we're gonna open up an app. We're gonna pull out the holograms app. We're gonna see if we can place it on the fog. All right, let's pull up the app. I'm gonna step over. See, there you go. Now it's really freaking out. You can see how it can't, it thinks that there's fog right here. It's reading the fog as if it was actual space. Uh, I think that I th this was expected. The type of sensors they use, I don't think would see through fog. I don't know what kind of sensors would. So you can see. Let me let me see if I can even get it to drop. There we go. Okay, I got it to drop. So you can see the hologram is sitting right here, right in the open, which you can do naturally. But you oh, there you go, right there. That's where it shows. It actually thinks it's placed on the fog. Quite interesting, actually. Results, I, 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 I did not, ex there you go, it's lost to the area. So, I did not think it would have such an effect on the hand signals. That was unexpected. I definitely thought it would pick up, there we go. See, you gotta, it's not even picking up my finger. That's very interesting, actually. I didn't, I, I, I didn't even think, we, we made a bunch of guesses on what we thought it was going to do. Um, we did not even expect, uh, Nobody's hypothesis was to have it not register your hand signals. I didn't even think about that. It's too bad. Let's see if we can even get one. There we go. Right there. We got it. We got it. We got a bird. So it looks like. 
See, it thinks there's fought. It thinks there's a chunk right here. I can't even tap to place. Oh my god, it's right here. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. Yet again, it thinks it's on something. Yeah, look at all the fog. So it actually is seeing the fog. This is this is the result I was expecting more than uh, the hand gestures was the fact that it would actually see the fog as an object. I'm going to try to select the fog down here. What's interesting is at a distance when I try to select the thick part, select, select, select. Interesting, you can see where it's thickest, select, right there, see? You can see it thinks there's fog right here. I mean, it thinks there's a wall right here. Select. So I still have vo voice controls, so it's still usable. Select. Yeah, it pulls it right, you can see it pulls it right towards my face because it thinks there's a wall right there. Select. Okay, so it's dropped. Select. Yep, it, the thickest parts of the fog it definitely thinks. It actually looks kind of cool to see like these conglomerates, almost like alien structures, what it's trying to form of the fog. Select. What is very intriguing though is it's only getting the fog in the air. When I go and I select the ground, it, it does, where the fog is the thickest, it doesn't even, it, it thinks it's totally, it sees right through it, completely fine. Select. Select. Oh, sorry. Select. So up there. So this is about select. Some more stuff right there. So some of these could be Austin moving around, and some of them, the higher ones up, select, I think are going to be the HoloLens itself. Select. It's handling rem remarkably well, select. Select. See, the fact that I keep selecting it proves that it's the fog, it's not just Austin moving around. Select. 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 You can see it's even moving different pace every time. This is about as foggy as we're going to be able to make the room. So in conclusion, guys, uh... Fog versus HoloLens. The HoloLens handled really well. A uh, different outcome than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting the hand gestures to get blocked. I thought it would definitely see within this far of you. I thought as it got out farther, it would have a hard time seeing. But it was actually the exact opposite. This room had already been scanned in previously, so it already knew the surroundings well enough uh, that it could see through it and anticipated where it was going to be. The problem was in the thickest part of the smoke, it would start to register that as walls where the sensors couldn't get through and therefore it thought it was a wall. Very intriguing actually, uh, that it wouldn't handle the stuff very close, but the stuff far off. And even when I pointed it at the, the thickest part of the fog, it saw right through it as long as I was far enough away from it. It really had a trouble when it was closest and in the thick of it. So, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and check out some of our other Breaking Reality videos. We have a video about how big we can make holograms. We have a video about Hollands versus Mirror. It's very exciting stuff. If you guys have any awesome ideas for us to test, similar to Fog or Mirror, or how big can holograms get, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Also, hit us up on Twitter if you guys have any good ideas, at the Hollow Herald. And thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.